Hello and welcome. This is Pediatrician Master and Pediatrician Trainer Vedant Goswami. Today we are going to see a very instructive game uh, from the grand final of the Champions Chess Tour, a game which was played <clears throat> between uh, Fabiano Caruana and uh, Hikaru Nakamura. I, as I went through the game, I found some very educational content and uh, so I decided to uh, feature this game today. So let us start. So in this game, uh, Nakamura is white and uh, Karwana is black. e4, e5, and f3, and c6. Bishop b5, the Ruy Lopez. a6, Bishop a4, and f6, and d3. Uh, <clears throat> a very popular choice these days. White uh, simply supports the pawn on e4, and now he's actually threatening to win the pawn on e5 because uh, the defender will be destroyed and the knight can capture the pawn on e5 for free. So black has to be really careful about it. So b5, mm -hmm. black prevents uh, that by pushing away the bishop, which was attacking the knight. So bishop b3. Bishop c5, very active development. Bishop e7 is also possible, of course. Knight c3, castles, and d5, and h6, a very important move, preventing the pin, which will uh, uh, <clears throat> be very troublesome to meet. And uh, this is a move which a lot of times is missed by a lot of people. So here, a natural move also can be d6. But after bishop g5, white achieves a clear advantage because uh, black cannot prevent the breaking of the, uh, the king side position after bishop into f6 or knight into f6 in a, a consequent attack on the um, black king with its lessened protection. Okay, so uh, important move in this moment, f6, a prophylactic move preventing the pin on g5. So I play c3. And uh, this is again very typical plan here, uh, keeping the option to play d4 at a time when it is most difficult for black to meet. So d6. Knight f6, I don't really understand it. A uh, bit uh, hurried, but maybe other options were there. Maybe castles, h3, or whatever. So queen into f6. Now for the moment, uh, d4 is not possible because uh, black has very good control on that square because of all these pieces. But uh, uh, white starts on a very instructive and kind of a double edge plan. And a one which uh, Karwana countered very instructively. Nakamura played rook g1, a very direct move. Yeah, the system is showing. It is dubious, but on the board it is quite difficult to meet. A very direct plan. The simple plan is playing g4 and g5, breaking open the black king side and simply playing for mate. Like bishop e6, Karwana plays bishop e6, a very important defensive move. Black exchanges one of the powerful pieces that white has. And uh, this will have an uh, effect of reducing the potential power of the white future attack. Karwana, uh, this Nakamura continues with g4, bishop into b3, and a into b3. Of course, queen into b3 is not possible because the f3 knight is loose. And now, this is a very instructive moment. Okay, so if you're really wanting to improve your game, this is the time. You should pause the video and think about what are the black's options here. So, um, I actually chose the game because of this particular movement and uh, the next few moves. It is very instructive. It is a prophylactic move. A uh, prophylactic move being a move that, you know, predicts the opportunities available to the opponent, which are dangerous to us, and takes active measures to counter that. Not give opponent whatever he needs. So if you see, white has a very simple plan, which is g5, and the pawn takes and bishop takes, getting a tempo on the queen, 
and then maybe just throwing pieces on the white on the black king and uh, possibly it is an attack which is very difficult to counter okay so which basically means black in no way can allow g5 and the subsequent opening of the g5 so Karwana played here queen e6 a very nice move a very nice move a very mature move a typical move played by very strong player a grandmasters okay so the idea is now you have to understand and see it's very careful the idea is after g5 now black is not forced to capture on g5 and he has this move h5 so a very simple way to understand it is that you should keep the lines where you are being attacked closed and uh, of course the opponent is trying to open it so uh, if, just consider h into g5 and bishop into g5 this would be a position which white will be very happy to have because you know he has this open line and very brilliant attacking chances on the king okay which is quite obvious again we can just throw pieces around and uh, the pieces will just you know find their squares on their own okay so a very interesting one g5 you have to understand the move h5 so uh, black is trying to keep the lines closed so that white pieces are not able to directly attack the black king a very instructive movement uh, so let us go so bishop uh, where were we so bishop e6 yeah so we were here and queen e6 a very nice move a very instructive movement and nh4 okay so uh, karwana does something which is typical that he is trying to counter a flank attack with some counterplay in the center very typical very theoretical g5 d into e4 d into e4 rook a to d8 develops the rook with a tempo while defending on the king side karwana is not forgetting the development of his pieces very important queen f3 queen g4 is also a possibility queen f3 and now again this is again a time for you to think and try to find and guess the move that was played by karwana which is kind of a turning point for this game and again so if um, it is very clear that why is this threatening g h6 kind of winning the game directly and h into g5 falls into uh, uh, basically white hand because uh, he can simply develop his attack so at this moment karwana played again the very instructive h5 he's closing the lines towards his king even at the cost of a pawn sacrifice that is how so important it is because capturing would simply allow white pieces to rush all over the king side and directly attack the white king so very instructive moment again and uh, after queen h5 black can even continue the simple g6 and after queen h6 there is a move rook f2 yet and bishop f8 and white queen is in the danger of getting trapped but more importantly the rook line and everything else is closed Okay, so very, very important, very beautiful learning moment. So h5, at this moment, uh, Nakamura panicked and played rook a6, falling into this uh, tactics of knight d4. The rook on a6 is hanging, the queen f3 is under attack, hanging pieces always lead to some counterplay, and tactics of rook in for e6, knight f3, and now black has won the exchange and the way he converted also was very efficient so rook g3 rook 8 immediately improving the rook threatening this pin king e2 and b4 again a very uh, important technical move because he's fixing the weakness on b3 and uh, also if pawn takes then uh, black has uh, uh, left these pawns isolated and uh, open to attack on the open line and it will be easy to convert that game so c into b4 bishop b4 bishop d2 and uh, bishop c5 for the moment not exchanging bishop c3 and rook f4 attacking the unhanging pawn on e4 bishop into e5 rook e4 
attacking d3 and rook b4 attacking the weakness on b3 always looking for something to attack king c3 rook b8 knight d2 bishop e2 f2 this kind of the harvesting phase so like they say rook d3 rook b5 bishop g3 bishop g3 bishop g3 and again very important now in the ending as soon as you get an opportunity time to improve the king king is a fighting piece in the ending because most of the pieces are gone and king is in supposedly in less danger so h4 rook b4 making the rook passive by attacking h4 improves the king rook f4 now the game is lost because it's a blitz game it's a rapid game white continues with some inertia and uh, e5, b4, king f5 again improves. And king e6, c4, rook d5, b3, rook d4, b5, and rook into h4. Now the game is totally lost. Rook e3, rook e4, rook h3, b4, sorry, h4, king b4, c4, king c5, rook g3, rook h1, rook into b3. Okay, and so now you know, it is a game without hope and uh, uh, actually Nakamura played an e5 and resigned uh, but it is absolutely hopeless uh, because after rook e1 check the rook can defend. So a beautiful game, a very uh, nice defensive performance by Karwana, particularly the two moves, queen e6, a very important move, uh, getting away from the attack. I'll just point the moment where that happened. So bishop g6. Yeah. So this very important moment. So this is a you know move that differentiates a you know a beginner or a, even a very strong, strong beginner from a really strong player. A very mature move. Queen e6, and then again uh, the move h5. Understanding that it is almost suicidal to allow white to open lines on the king side and closing lines even at the set, uh, cost of material. So a very important, very mature game to learn the concept of uh, prophylaxis, which was queen e6, and uh, the concept of keeping the lines closed on the area where you are being attacked. Okay, So I hope you enjoyed the game. And uh, uh, this uh, few interesting movements that I chose, you also found them interesting. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.